Legislative priority, the session's coming up. What's at the top of your wish list this year? We're talking about the big issues for the business community, and obviously it's helping them get back on their feet after a terrible year or so. And we think the top thing to do that is tax reform. And there's a couple of bills uh, you know, bouncing around the Capitol, I think, this year. All of them can make a big difference, especially to small business and mid-sized business. And so uh, we're really fired up on that. The top one is what I would call centralized sales tax collection. And basically, this is something where if you are a small business in Louisiana, you have to go through over 50 different sales tax collectors, an army of audits, a lot of different assessments and approaches to doing that. It can put you under with all this red tape and cost. Other states don't do it that way. And Louisiana does it differently for big out-of-state retailers like Amazon. And they give them a one centralized collector. They give them one centralized audit person. It's very easy for the out-of-state guys. We make it harder for the in-state guys who are you know, struggling every day to keep their doors open. It's not fair. It's not right. And so we're trying to put some parity in there, help small business get the same deal that the big out-of-state guys get. And we think there's serious momentum in the capital to get it done this year. Do you need a shot at this being a bipartisan uh, effort? Uh, has, Absolutely. Has, has the governor given an inclination which way he would lean? You know, there was a task force in between the sessions uh, that was put together with representatives of local government, business, uh, state government. And look, every, at the end of that task force, we passed a unanimous resolution to support centralized collection. And so you've got on paper an agreement. Now, the devil's always in the details, but everyone in concept is in agreement. So, yeah, I do think there's a chance there. And look, it takes 70 votes to get this done. So you're going to have to have bipartisan agreement. And thus far, that is exactly what we're hearing in the legislature.